All right, Coach Richards, uh, your team reported yesterday. It, it's uh, Friday, August 5th, and we just a few minutes ago you got done with your first practice. You want to just kind of, with uh, having viewed them for two hours, a quick yeah. overview of the season so far? Yeah, well, the season so far has been a long one. Um, <laughs> I mean, you said it's 24 hours, really, but a lot has happened. We had meetings yesterday and our fitness test last night, which we were very happy with. We had a lot of, a lot of passes. Uh, the freshman group have really represented themselves well in that uh, success rate as well. And then this morning, the, the first field session, everyone's come off a little fatigued and dripping in sweat. It's very hot and humid out there, but a good session. It, our goal was to, to be able to get out and give everyone plenty of touches on the ball and put them in some competitive situations, but also start the, the learning process. We didn't want it to be just go out and play. But we wanted it to be, let's start to, to teach some of the things that are going to be really important as the year goes through. And it was a good session, a lot of good. positives, a lot of positives in the play, a lot of positives in the fitness, uh, the behavior, the, the focus, the attention, the way already you can see the team start to come together, the return is helping out the freshmen, good leadership from the seniors, there's so many positives. Of course, lots of things we'd like to polish up on and practice sure. and get better at, but we recognize it's, it's day one and, and we're, we're very happy so far where, where we're at. Uh, you mentioned the fitness test and uh leads into a little bit of what I was going to ask you. Obviously, today is the first day you can work with them, but ideally in the summer, they're, whether they're gathered here in town with teammates or working out on their own, you hope that they're doing some conditioning or working out on their own and that they come back in pretty good shape. How do you, how do you feel about the team's overall, overall fitness? Overall, very good. I think that um, there's been a, a good amount of girls who've been here this um, this summer, about between six and eight, have been here for the majority of the summer working out, so we know they've had good preparation. Um, some I haven't seen for two or three months, uh, but we, we did up the expectation in terms of fitness in the spring semester, and the message was very clear to our returners that uh, they need to come back in shape. Two or three of them, you can, you can see as soon as they walk in the room that they're in better shape than they were when they left here, so you have to commend them. For, for working that hard over the summer. Obviously the freshmen is a little different, they're not quite sure what to expect, but we had a great representation of them. Seven of the nine passed the uh, fitness test last night and one failed just by a, a couple of seconds and I'm sure um, she'll pass on the first retail. I know somebody's coming in behind me. <laughs> no, they stuck their head in and popped back out. Okay. Um, you've obviously, you've got 31 on the roster, 31. I believe. Yeah. Only four of which are seniors. I mean, is that is just kind of the the leadership and sort of instilling kind of the tradition? Is that just as important at this time of year as the as the tactical things? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we we talked to the girls uh, yesterday about fitness is important. Obviously, your soccer ability is important. Your behavior is important, but also how you you come together as a team, and, and that's the leadership part of it. You know, the leaders drag the team. Uh, in the direction that we want them to go. I think we have terrific leadership and obviously that comes a lot from our seniors, but not exclusively. There are some other people in the team who provide good role models and, and good leadership, but yes, that's really important. You've got to get the culture right from the beginning and sometimes when the culture isn't right from the beginning, it's, it's impossible or very difficult to change, but I feel very good about the, the behavior and the morals of the, of the team this year. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to ask you about, you last year obviously, and you are you wouldn't be one to use this as an excuse, but I, I can say it, you had a number of injuries, um, some kids that probably would have started or at least played a lot, and so as a result some other players got in there, and I mean is that, that's a bad thing at the time, but it, can that be kind of helpful now that you've got just that many more kids with experience starting and some even though you are a young team yeah. you've got a lot of kids that have seen time no, on the that's, field that's a very good point there are some sophomores out there now who've got a good amount of experience under their belt um, and, and can come and really help contribute this year of course injuries to key players is always a, a big sufferance you don't want to endure that uh, I mean, Jenny Fowler said at the end of practice <laughs> today the curse has been broken because we got through our first practice without a major injury. Two years ago it was her on right. an ACL first practice of the year, last year's Mayor Johnson. And it does, it, it affects you, obviously you're losing key players, but it affects the confidence, I think, of, of everybody in the team. You know, here, you know, here we go again, we've got another serious injury, whereas this year right. we've got through it, it didn't happen, and so there's just a different attitude right away. So let's, let's hope we can stay healthy throughout the year. 
All right, I won't uh, keep you too long here. I know you have another practice later today, but any other thoughts at this point that we didn't talk about? I think it's, too, it's very early days right now. I just sure. said to the team, it's, a, it's the first step of a long journey, but it's a very positive step. I'm happy. We're just going to make sure we continue to progress well, uh, certainly over the next two weeks before we get on the road for Chicago, but throughout the season, but a, a good start. All right, and hopefully uh, between now and then we can check in with you and see how things are rolling along. Rolling along. Quite very hot. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir.